excuse me. Thank you. Hello everyone. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. I shaved my head. Yes, I did it. I'm sorry everyone who loved the mess that was getting in my eyes, but it just had to go. So here it is, deal with it. I can put a hat on if you can't. Anyway, in today's video, we are going to be continuing our little working our way through the facial features and we're going to be working on drawing noses today. Noses! Yeah, fun, exciting. I know it's not as Instagrammable. You, why do I keep saying that? I know it's not as like trendy as drawing lips and eyes and stuff, but it's a very essential thing that a lot of people get wrong. So I thought it would be helpful to maybe try and help because obviously I'm still learning too. So I just wanted to show you guys how I draw noses and if that helps you, then that's great. It's a two way street. <laughs> if you haven't watched the last video, watch that one because maybe I'll implement some lips into this. Maybe, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen in this video? Well, hopefully you do know, we're gonna be drawing a lot of noses. We're just gonna get straight to it. I hope you guys find it useful and don't be alarmed by this. Okay, goodbye. Okay, in hindsight, I probably should have drawn this nose a little bit bigger, but the technique is still there. So I always start with a circle and I always draw the two edges of the nose, basically working out my outer shape. Then I always draw little C shapes for the nostrils. Don't draw big black holes for the nostrils because you'll immediately lose the depth. The circle I drew works as the ball of the nose, if you could see it on the image on the left. And now I'm basically just carving in all the shapes around that main circle. And because we're just starting off with sketches, I'm making them really rough and I'm putting in very basic flat shading. Remember when you're shading nostrils to make it dark at the top and slowly lighten out. You want there to be a gradient from dark to light, that's very important. Now I'm just shading the underside of the nose, just adding a little bit of shadow to the bottom of the nostrils. And I'm basically just looking forwards and back to my reference to know where the shadows are landing, where the highlights are landing too. Okay, let's speed it up from here. I'm now adding very light shading to the nose just to give an idea of what the form is underneath the skin of the nose bridge. I've also shaded in some slight folds at the top to show where the nose bridge moves onto the cheek skin. Okay, that's one. Now let's do some more. Okay, so we're going to be drawing from some more references now. I feel like one of the key things you should probably take from this how to draw series is to just keep drawing different variations of what you're trying to learn. You're never ever going to learn the first time, you're going to have to do it a few times. I think we draw like maybe six or seven noses in this video. And they don't have to be perfect polished noses with cute little highlights and perfect shadows. You, you know, you just need to do whatever works with how you want to practice your drawing. Do as much as you can or as little as you can, just, you know, just keep at it basically. There's no point in having one day where you're perfecting this one nose drawing and then you just give up the rest of the month. You need to try and find a balance of detail in order to make sure that you can do a lot without burning out and that you can just keep on practicing and keep your skill up. Consistency and repetition definitely help you learn a skill, any skill, not just art, literally anything. You're never going to learn how to ride a bike the first time, you've got to keep practicing. Just everything needs practice, right? So, you know, it goes without saying that you certainly need to practice a lot and just keep on trying things. Make sure that you vary the things that you're practicing too. Don't just draw noses forever unless you want to be a, a nose artist. I personally do not want to be a nose artist, which is why I'm hopefully going to record a video on each of the facial features so we can practice them together because I love making these videos to help teach you guys, but it also helps me, honestly. We never ever stop learning, so me just doing these simple sketches and little studies of noses helps me out too, so thanks for that. If there's one critique I'd give myself about the references I'm choosing, I definitely don't have much, like difference in angles they all seem to be these three quarter angles or the side view definitely try definitely to look for different look references for different angles because it's all good and well if you can draw a three quarter nose but what happens if you get a commission or if someone wants you to draw something and it's at a completely different angle then you're going to struggle all over again so practice your angles if it helps take photos of your own nose take a video of you just turning your head around and try pause it draw the different angles i could try to do that in a video to show you guys you are your best reference so don't be embarrassed to keep drawing yourself it doesn't make you a narcissist unless you are you're simply just the easiest reference you can find 
And although I think there is a large range of models and references on Pinterest, a lot of the things that usually pop up at the top are these really pretty, smooth skinned, perfect little nose people. So definitely search around for noses, ask your friends if you can draw their noses, ask your parents, ask your dog, you can do dog noses. If you guys are up for the challenge or if you're drawing right now with me, I want you to fill a whole page of noses and I don't want any two to look the same. I want you to use a different reference for every single one. And filling a full page will mean that you've definitely developed your skills and you've definitely drawn a whole bunch of different noses. And most importantly, you can visually see that on a page. I think that would be a lovely page spread of just noses. And please share that with me if you do decide to do that or use the references that I'm using in this video. Just another side thing, I know I'm like drawing all of these in pink. I love drawing in a colored pencil. I know that's not probably the best if you're trying to focus on the values and stuff, but it just keeps it more interesting for me. Sometimes drawing with, you know, like a charcoal pencil just gets a bit boring. So if you need that little change, that little quirk to make sure that you draw a little bit more frequently, then go for it. And the pro about digital art is that if I want this to be black and white, I can do that very easily. <laughs> okay, if we're just observing the way that I'm drawing this nose, I think I do tend to start with the shadows of the nostrils and like, just the gap in between the nostrils. I like to draw that sort of bird shape. You know the way that people draw birds in like first school. It's also important to shade the nostrils in because they're like the deepest parts of contrast on the nose, most likely because there's no light going up in those strills. So make sure they're nice and dark so they contrast nicely with the rest of the shading. As you can see, I'm doing much lighter shading on the outside of the nostrils because there's a lot more light hitting there. Always observe your light source. I'm literally gonna take a note that in the next video, oh, oh wait, no, I literally have pointed out where the light goes. <laughs> that was funny. I should definitely um, look at the video instead of thinking what I should say. <laughs> but yeah, it just works as a nice little reminder. I mean, I literally forgot that I did it myself. So it's a very good reminder of where your light is shining from. So you know where, how harsh, shadows should be obviously if they're further away from the light source and that's the next batch of noses finished so here are our final sketches again i think i probably should have done more different angles but i'm pretty happy with these as just initial sketches okay i think we've done plenty of nose sketches so it's time for the boss level for this piece i'm going to be fully coloring and painting the skin for this nose reference Again, I'm sketching the exact same way. When you see these amazing paintings, it's not like they're doing anything different for their groundwork. It's the exact same sketching we've been doing this whole video. I'm lightly marking out where my shadows and my highlights go before I go in with some color. And I turn my sketch layer to multiply and now I'm just filling in the base color that I'm gonna go for. If I pick like a mid-tone, you don't want it to be too dark or too light because we're gonna be adding shadows to it, as you can see. Again, just keep on looking at your reference. You should be looking at your reference all almost as much as you're looking at your drawing, if not more. Make sure you observe that light, make sure you take notes as to where the light is shining from. So from here, it's in the top left. I'm really honing in on that triangular shape that she has on the front, on the tip of her nose. And I'm really making sure that I'm carving that out with this darkest shadow. If you struggle to pick nice skin colors and they always end up going a bit gray and muddy, check out my other video on how to draw skin. That will definitely help you out. Also, notice how I'm not zooming in at all while I'm putting in these shadows and the highlights. You want to initially start with quite a big brush so you can really just block out those main shadows and highlights. And obviously we can zoom in and do those nitpicky things at the end. But I'd say it's more important to focus on the big shadows because they're the things that are really gonna help form the shape of this nose. The smaller details just kind of help realism, I suppose. But you're never gonna figure out where they go if you don't know where the big shadows are. So yeah, I do go more in depth in my skin video, but I am just gradually getting lighter to make these highlights on the skin. And I'm also eye dropping colors that I might necessarily use again in like mid tone areas. And if it helps you out, you can also just eye drop colors from your reference or like I'm doing, just eye drop colors that I've previously used. So the piece is more cohesive and we're done. Let's check it out. Here's the finished result. I really hope you guys like it. Definitely could have done a lot more details on this, but when it comes to rendering, you decide when you want to stop. I think I've learned all I need to learn from this quality. So I'm pretty happy with it.
And there you go, now you should be an expert at drawing noses. No excuses, they should be perfect every time. No, I'm kidding, this is gonna take a while. It's gonna take a lot of looking at references, a lot of different angles. You can draw my nose from all of these angles. If it helps you learn, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much guys for watching. Please subscribe for more tutorials and more just fun art challenges that I post on shorts. Follow my socials or Hassan Draws, wherever you wanna find me. And yeah. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.